When will superintelligence arrive and what does it mean? That's today's question, focusing on the impact on you and your career. So superintelligence is different than AGI or artificial general intelligence. AGI is achieved at human equivalent mental capacity or thinking ability, whereas superintelligence is smarter than people. And obviously, in the academic and computing community, there's different opinions on this. So who should we listen to? Well, let's listen to Sam Altman, who is at the absolute vanguard of driving AI forward. Sam Altman, CEO of ChatGPT, maker OpenAI, believes superintelligence AI is only a few thousand days away and will change the way we live forever. So when he says a few thousand days away, you know, a thousand days is less than three years. So he's saying between five and 10 years, more or less. Altman outlined his optimistic vision for superintelligence technology that surpasses human capability to solve intensive problems and push human progress forward more than ever before in a blog post on Monday. So that's less than a week ago. And by the way, thanks to CNET for this article. The post came one day after a New York Times report revealed the executive is teaming up with famed former Apple designer Johnny Ivey on a top secret AI device. So it looks like there's going to be a new competitor to the iPhone coming. <laughs> Altman wrote how changes with AI won't happen at once, but will help us accomplish more than we ever could without it. He described children having virtual tutors who will be able to provide personalized instruction. So I've mentioned this several times before on previous videos, but it's worth mentioning again, education will completely change over the next 10 years. There will also be autonomous personal assistants that can execute tasks such as coordinating medical care on our behalf. I've been talking a lot about these agents recently, but what I've focused on is more running your household completely from the robots doing your cooking, cleaning, and getting you things to coordinating your medical care. Sure, absolutely. Altman said, although it will happen incrementally, astounding triumphs, including fixing the climate, establishing a space colony, and the discovery of all of physics, meaning the unified theory between general and relative branches of physics, the holy grail of physics. These will eventually become commonplace with nearly limitless intelligence and abundant energy, the ability to generate great ideas and the ability to make them happen. We can do quite a lot. But in order for the superintelligence age to take off, he said, the cost of computing needs to come down further and infrastructure will need to be robust to provide all of the required energy and chips. And on the energy side, a great example of this is Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation funding the fusion plant in Washington state, unlimited dirt cheap energy. And the chips see the short on Tuesday about that. By the way, if you like this video so far, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please support us on Patreon. We need your financial support, which we're starting to get. Thank you very much to be able to continue to grow this channel and prepare you for the future that is coming soon. If we don't build enough infrastructure, Altman said, AI will become a very limited resource that wars get fought over and that becomes mostly a tool for rich people. So there's a pretty stark warning. Altman once again acknowledged how the industry needs to maximize AI's benefits while minimizing its harms. He's been vocal about the catastrophic risk associated with AI alongside other tech leaders like Bill Gates and Elon Musk. But not everyone feels AI will upend life as we know it. Some experts, including linguistics professor Noam Chomsky and Rodney Brooks, 
who ran MIT's computer science and AI lab for 10 years, believed the impact of generative AI is overhyped because it will never be able to think better than humans. But my viewers know that a number of top technologists have said that AGI will not come out of generative AI, that it requires a physical component, including the marriage with robotics, to reach AGI. So as we do on every episode, what does this mean for you? The future is set, in my opinion, and I think there's already ample evidence to justify what I just said. What do I mean by the future is set? AGI will be here or is already here, but in any event will be announced within the next two to three years. This is revolutionary enough. An artificial being that can think at human equivalence. Now, it will lack the emotional component probably at first, but over time, who knows about that? As my viewers also know, there's substantial efforts underway already to imbue AI with emotion. So that's already being worked on by many people around the world. So AGI happens within a couple of years after that where it's super intelligence. Why? Because as they said at AGI just a year ago now, you got to realize that the first AGI will be able to build the next iteration of AGI on its own, and it will reach super intelligence. So how does this impact you? It's like everything else. Everything has good and bad outcomes associated with it. Nothing is all one or the other. The good is the stuff that Sam Altman talks about, that your day-to-day -day life 10 years from now will be taken care of. You'll be able to spend all that time and energy that you spend cooking, cleaning, helping your kids with school, a lot of the work you do today, all fully automated. You will have much more free time to work on things that are meaningful to you. What's the bad part? Significant job displacement is guaranteed. Now, will some new jobs be created? Yes. But many people posit, and I happen to agree with them, that this will be the first of the revolutions, starting with the agricultural revolution, that will result in more job displacement than gain. But you can forestall that. How? You can forestall it by picking a career that requires the human touch. I have explained some of those to you. I'm going to do a future video very shortly about a video I just saw that's very profound and from someone who knows what he's talking about. But he echoes many of the themes that I have talked about on this channel. So what are these jobs that I've said? Nursing, home health care, uh, still psychology and psychiatry to a large degree, social work, although, of course, there'll be automation in these areas, but not full, and jobs that require your hands, plumber, electrician, and so forth. But you need to prepare now because with exponential technologies, the rate of change continuously increases. That means the time between breakthrough, one breakthrough to the next becomes shorter and shorter and shorter. You don't want to get caught in that situation. Prepare now. Choose wisely. There's a lot more I'm just about to do to help you in this regard. Keep your eye out for that. So once again, thanks very much for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and share. Also, please support us on Patreon. We really need that financial support from my viewers. It really, really helps. I can't even begin to tell you. So thanks so much. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye.